Hi folks, this is how Raspberry Pi of the future may look like. Let's take a look what's inside it. It's working and it's very powerful, probably even 100 times more powerful in terms of graphics and probably 10 times more powerful at least at the general processing than Raspberry Pi 5. Like many fancy Raspberry Pi 5s, you can see inside there is a tempered glass window which replaces one of the case sides. If you look inside, it's truly amazing, because it's almost as simple to build as Raspberry Pi 5, though it's got processor socket and memory sockets. It's otherwise pretty much the same as Raspberry Pi 5, except for M.2 connector, which is located on the print circuit board. Even better than Raspberry Pi 5, because Raspberry Pi 5 needs an extension board to connect an M.2 SSD drive, but here you can just plug it in as on Orange Pi 5 Max, for example. It's all in one piece. It's almost as a single board computer. You may call it a single board computer, because there is not much more than this. You can see a large processor cooler and NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. And that's pretty much it, besides a number of USB ports. And you can also see a number of SATA ports. But I think that in future versions of this kind of motherboards, these are going to be omitted. And what is even more intriguing is that you can use Raspberry Pi 5's hardware to install Windows or Linux on it. For example, you can use USB to SD card adapter with an inserted 32 GB SD card or larger and make it a bootable Windows or Unix installation installation media. If you go to uupdump.net website with your Raspberry Pi 5, you can even configure and download your Windows installation ISO file for free. You are probably wondering now, how much does this beast cost? It's not so much. It's around 500 euros, which is about two and a half times as much as Raspberry Pi 5 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And surprisingly, this one also has got 16 gigabytes of RAM. There is also a free socket, so you can add RAM if you want to. AM4 socket also allows you to place the processor with a more powerful AMD design. There are no such options on the Raspberry Pi 5. However, a Raspberry Pi printed circuit board is about 10 times smaller than this one. But it's not enough. If you want to connect an SSD drive, you need an adapter board, which can be used as head, but then it prevents cooling. And it is much better to mount it sideways in this case, which may even quadruple the surface area needed by a Raspberry Pi 5 based desktop computer, which I've made in this video. A Raspberry Pi 5 is also meant for those who want to do their own computer controlled electronics projects. The 40 pin expansion port is therefore probably the only missing part of this beast, but you can implement it easily enough by adding RP2040 Raspberry Pi microcontroller through a USB port. Retza X4 single board computer provides an excellent example how to implement it on an Intel or AMD based computer through a USB 2.0 port. There is an even better option, Raspberry Pi Pico 2, which you can buy for approximately $5. This little computer gives you all the pins and hardware protocol that you need to control your home bread electronics. I'm not talking about PCIe bus electronics, because this you can actually connect directly to any kind of classic PC. But here, what is more interesting is electronics that is simple, that needs just a few pins to control it. And there are great development environments like Arduino, where you can program this little bit. So if you combine this little bit with a large bit, which is actually more or less the same as Raspberry Pi, you get a combined package that's much more powerful in terms of working as a desktop or a gaming machine. It doesn't cost much more, but it still has all the capabilities. It works. It's easy enough to program. What is interesting with Raspberry Pi 5 is that you can use such a board on Arduino environment on Raspberry Pi 5 as well. So. Raspberry Pi 5 can also act as a classic PC to these boards. But with a classic PC without a 40 pin expansion board, you actually need just this little board. You can also opt for Raspberry Pi Zero, which will give you a full implementation, a physical implementation of 40 pin expansion board. And it's a relatively simple computer that can work actually the same way. So if you've got this board, then you can plug a Raspberry Pi hats if you want them. But if you want just to do the electronics, you can buy a simple card for a few euros. A Raspberry Pi Zero would cost you around uh, 15 or 20 euros, but 
here you have a much simpler board it costs even less than five euros it depends on what you are looking for and uh, what you actually need if you don't need the pin arrangement that is available on 40 pin expansion port you can go for a simpler solution it's really a nice combination which also gives you gaming capabilities it's got so powerful graphics card which you can never connect efficiently to a Raspberry Pi 5 because Raspberry Pi 5 just has one lane PCIe bus that can work as a generation 3 at best. So, But this kind of PCs have 16 lane PCIe bus that can work as a generation 4 or even generation 5. So there are 10 times faster or even more. You can also have more of these boards that are relatively easy to program. It makes possible to use a very capable processor together with a relatively simple hardware. So it's actually a missing link for a classic PC uh, to be able to enter the zones that were previously reserved for Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please press like and subscribe buttons. See you in the next video. Bye.